Hey there, it's Jamie Singleton, Friday the 24th of February. I want to quickly update you on the severe weather potential that we have coming up for the next several hours. A tornado watch is in effect for the entire area until 4 o'clock this afternoon. That includes Roanoke, New River Valley, Lynchburg, Southside, the Allegheny Highlands. And here's the deal. We've had some storms ahead of a cold front that's uh, developed earlier this morning around Bristol uh, into Abington and Withville, the Mountain M Empire area, uh, they had tornado warnings, possible tornadoes with them earlier, okay? But they have uh, earlier this morning been moving into more stable air over the uh, New River Valley and Roanoke Valley and kind of weakening a little bit. Now the sun's broken back out. We're starting to get warm and the second line of storms is already getting going, coming in through West Virginia, uh, through Central West Virginia and extreme Southwest Virginia. Timetable of this is going to be important and this is why the tornado watches out. Out, uh, because there's a lot of wind energy associated with these storms. If you go up in the clouds, the winds are blowing really hard, and even the smaller showers can put down some higher winds. Uh, but we're going to see those storms try to get through the New River Valley and to the Roanoke Valley uh, between now and probably uh, lunchtime, looking at noon to about 1 p.m. All right, that's going to mean that the storms will be stronger than they were this morning. It also means the potential of some damaging winds and maybe even a couple of isolated tornadoes. Uh, that's why the tornado watch is out for the area. From that point on, most of the high resolution computer models take those uh, strong to severe storms from Roanoke and then move them east, and I mean fast, uh, into central Virginia, racing east to about Lynchburg and Danville by two or three o'clock this afternoon. So it's gonna be uh, just a three or four hour ordeal, but during that time, a uh, thin line of uh, some relatively strong storms moving through with some damaging winds and tornadoes possible. So that's the timeline we're looking at. Again, New River Valley between now and about 1230. Uh, Roanoke you're looking at between uh, 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock uh, right around lunchtime early afternoon. And then Lynchburg and Southside you're looking at maybe 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. So be advised even if it's not a tornado, strong straight line winds could cause some damage out there as well. Now beyond that, after two or three o'clock after the storm's clear, it's actually going to turn sunny again, I think, and temperatures warm right back up and we could be back up to the upper 60s, lower 70s uh, by the end of the day today. So we'll get a good chance to warm up, but the colder air behind the system waits until later on tonight to get in here. That's going to come in on some awfully gusty winds. And so a wind advisory is also in effect for most of the area uh, going through the night tonight, possibly even in the Saturday morning. They may extend that. The weather service may extend it because uh, the winds will be blowing at a constant 25 to 35 miles an hour. We could see some gusting up there at about 50 miles an hour in many cases. And with the saturated ground, uh, the snow, the rain that we had, uh, the trees may topple a lot easier given that uh, strength of wind. So uh, we've got the severe weather threat for the next several hours that could produce its own uh, tree damage and uh, isolated damage and maybe isolated tornadoes. We hope not, but it's a possibility. And then we've got the longer term um, wind issue where it's just a general windy time of it as we take the uh, warm weather out and replace it with cold weather going through the night tonight. So hold on to your hats and we're in for a bumpy ride the next several hours. I'll be bringing you more updates here on Facebook as they, uh, as they become available today.